Hey everybody, uh, this video is going to be a little different. It's going to be about a practice finger holder that I kind of rigged up because I couldn't find one that I really liked that I could afford. So I bought these um, pieces off AliExpress, which I will have links for in the description box to help you uh, find these uh, certain pieces. So I'll gather them up and I will start explaining um, exactly what they are and what I did with them. I'm going to start with the arm here. Now this I'm sure you've seen. Um, this stuff is actually um, like a helping hand for jewelers and I thought that I might be able to figure out a way to use it for me. So it has a screw um, on one end and then this end here is a magnet and it's very strong. Thank goodness I was hoping it would be. And it comes, I bought a two pack and it comes with this little alligator clip um, that you screw on the end. This thing is about 12 inches all connected when it's all put together. It's 12 inches long. Um, the longest finger holder that I saw was maybe, I think four inches. So I like the length of, length of this. Uh, the four inch one just wouldn't wouldn't work for me. Plus it had a suction cup on it and those wear out and they stop working after a while if they work at all in the first place. So this little alligator clip screws on this little piece here. And originally I thought I was going to clip, be able to clip the finger inside the mouth of the alligator clip, but I had a change of plan um, when I discovered it was kind of flimsy that way. It didn't really work the way I was hoping. These little black um, tubes are for if you want to hold something, like I said, it's it's works it helps jewelers hold on to pieces of you know metal or whatever they're working with gems or I don't know what they use but um so it's not gonna work for me but it could work for somebody who you know decided to use this for something else now these little metal plates come in the silver and the gold the rose gold and a darker silver and they have a protective covering on it they have an adhesive side look how thin these things are which is what it really attracted me to them they're not bulky or intrusive in any way so they were perfect for what I needed them for and you get eight of them four circles and four rectangles so you can pretty much use them and they're actually um, advertised for cell phones So this is what I did with mine and that ring on there is just for me because the uh, the base of that finger is just not attractive so I just wanted to cover it up. So just to, oh, these stuck together, they, yeah they're pretty strong. <laughs> um, so this is what it looked like before. So this is the underside of the clip and I just put some gems on it made it look a little a um, little prettier than what it was and now so what I did you can see right here I just poked a hole with some scissors this finger didn't have a hole already in it so if your finger already has a hole I'm hoping you can make this work still but I'm not sure you can so I just used some scissors I poked a hole in stuck it on the end on the the nose of the alligator clip and it's in there pretty good it's not coming off and I'm not advertising the finger but just to show you this is a, actually a pretty cool finger and it bends and everything it's it's uh, I have a description for that in the or a link for that in the descri description box also but anyway it's on there pretty snug and so like what I was saying about this black tube here, 
if you already have a hole in the finger that you uh, the practice finger that you have you might be able to put this inside of it and then use it to um, clip on the alligator the mouth like that and that might work for you so this is but you'll have to try that part because I don't like I said I don't have one of those type of fingers so I couldn't tell you if it would actually work for that but I know it works for the finger that I actually put the hole in myself but it's nice that the, it comes with these you have options okay back to this so I'm going to zoom out and sorry if it's a little awkward um, I don't have another camera to use to get a different angle and show you everything I need to without having to zoom I just had to zoom out so you could see what I'm using these discs so there's one there and then I have a gold one over here and as you can see I have my nail lamp and it's sitting on um, a table um, to raise it up so that the light doesn't bother any of the work I'm doing or my gels so that's just my way of doing that but this is the the great part so you can move this thing with one hand up and down you can turn it away from you so it's out of your way you can turn it the other way take it off completely whatever you want to do because it's just on a magnet there and it stays still and then when you're ready to cure the metal discs that I have there we go you can see it a little bit better sorry it's crooked now <laughs> um, so that's my nail lamp <laughs> and so when you're ready to cure you just don't take it from the finger because that could loosen that hole and you don't want to if you don't have to remove that finger don't do it you just take the magnet see it's pretty strong you have to get used to pulling that off and then you slip it right under there place it where you want it it's not rolling around it's not going anywhere it's stable it sets off the sensor you can push your button do the timer however you want to do it and then when you're ready to take it out you just basically it's easy to just slide it off the magnet and then put it back on your other magnet or put it on your other metal plate that's not the magnet part okay so remember how this all screwed you know that screwed on there so this is another way you could take the nail off but this is not an ideal way to do it it's just another option it's easier just to take the whole arm off of the metal plate and do it that way but if you do it like this the underside of that alligator clip keeps it from rolling around so it's nice to do that but like I said you have to turn it so many times that it's just really not not time productive I guess you'd say okay so let me show you this so this is snug and secure it's not going to come off you can tug on that finger pretty good if you want to you can kind of turn the finger a little bit but if you keep turning the finger itself you might stress that hole and make it bigger and then it's just useless so you just twist it once the opposite direction to loosen it and then you can move the finger from side to side it's not coming off because as you remember you had to unscrew that thing several you know turns to get that off of there so this protects that hole and it's not going to loosen up if you just because you're not having to take the finger on and off and then like if you're putting forms on this finger you just tighten it back up you just have to turn it once and it tightens back up and then you can use your, both of your hands to put the form on and you don't have to worry about it moving around so I love this this is part one I'm showing you what I rigged up so in part two I'm going to be using it for the first time and I'm gonna see myself 
if it works, how well it works, and then you can watch it too, I hope. Uh, so thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know in the comments if you like this idea, if you have any other ideas you'd like to share, and please like, subscribe, and share.